Okay. Today we are going to check the topic relative clauses. The first thing that we are going to do is to define what is a clause. It is a group of words containing a subject and a verb, which form a sentence or part of a sentence. You see in this example that we have two clauses. The first one, I can't cook very well. And the second one, I make quite good pancakes. In green, we have the subject in each clause. And with a circle, we identify the verb of each clause too. That's why here we have a pair of clauses. Then, what is a relative clause? It starts with a relative pronoun, who, which, that, who, where, when, whom, and why. You know that sometimes we use these words as WH words to make questions. But in this occasion, we are going to use who, which, that, whose, where, when, whom, and why as pronouns. Then in this example, we have the man who called you is my dentist. The relative clause that we have is who called you. We are going to have two kinds of relative clauses, defining relative clauses and non-defining relative clauses. What is going to be the difference between these two clauses? In the first one, we are going to give essential information, information that we can omit and this complement our sentence to have a good understood of it. It means that we need to understand what or who is being referred to. Let's check the example that we have here. The dentist who treated me is my uncle. Who treated me? That is the defining relative clause. Define who is this dentist? Who we are talking about? About the dentist. And in non-defining relative clauses, we are going to give some extra information that is not essential, that is not basic, that we can omit. Let's check the example. My uncle is a dentist who plays at the same cricket club as you. If we omit the second part, who plays at the same cricket club as you, our first clause, it remains the same. Let's check some other differences between defining relative clauses and non-defining relative clauses. A defining relative clause doesn't need commas. We are going to say it or write it as a one sentence only. The dentist who treated me is my uncle. We don't need commas. But with non-defining relative clauses, we use commas. My uncle is a dentist, comma, who plays at the same cricket club as you. Let's check the use of relative pronouns with each defining and not defining relative clauses. Both clauses may begin with who. We are going to use this relative pronoun when we talk about people. Example, the man who lives next door is a doctor. This is defined. The person we are talking about, in this case, the woman. For not defining who for people, my brother too, who lives in Scotland, is a doctor. 
between commas. Which is a relative pronoun that we are going to use for things. Brian works for a company which makes computers. We need to identify what kind of company we are talking about. That's why we say which make computers. Opposite in the not defining clauses, which for things. Brian told me about his new job, which he is not enjoying very much. This is not defined because we are giving extra information. Whose can be used instead of his, her, or their when we talk about possession. We met some people whose car had broken down. Whose car? The car of the people. Non-defining clause. Whose instead of his, her, or they? Sam whose car had broken down, was in a bad mood. The relative pronoun where is used for places. What is the name of the place where you went on holiday? We are specifying what is the place we were on holiday. Where for places? Jane has just been to Oxford, where her dad lives. We can use when, when we talk about times. I remember the day when I met you. I remember the day I met you. But when we use when, sometimes it could be omitted. Okay, as in the second example. Not defining relative clauses, using when, four times. This picture was taken yesterday when it was raining. Whom? Four people as the object of a clause. This is George, whom you met last year. This is not a common use in speaking English. Whom? Four people as the object of a clause. This morning I met Charles, whom? I hadn't seen for ages. Remember that in the not defining relative clauses, we can omit the information and the sentences or ideas remain the same. Another words that we can use with relative clauses are why, but why is another. And it is going to be used only after the words, the reason to specify or to say what the reason is. The film was the reason why he became famous. And as the same as when we can omit it, the film was the reason he became famous. And the idea remains the same. That, that, is a relative pronoun that we can use instead of who, whom, or which. It means that we can say the picture which hangs on the wall, the picture that hangs on the wall. And there is no problem with the meaning of the sentence. The meaning is the same. Another example, the woman who he married, the woman that he married. This is George, whom you met last year. This is George that you met last year. And we cannot use why or that with non-defining relative clauses. Define it. Who, which, or that can be omitted when they are the object of the clause. We have here an example. The medicine which that the doctor gave, gave me should be taken twice a day. What is the object? Medicine. What is the subject? Doctor. The medicine the doctor gave me should be taken twice a day. And again, we cannot use who or which 
or that with non-defining relative clauses. Relative pronouns can define the subject or the object of the verbs as we saw in the previous examples. The picture, the subject, which hangs on the wall is all. Which hangs on the wall define which picture we are talking about. In the second example, the man who she married is Spanish. This is the object of the sentence. And we define with the relative pronoun who, the man we are talking about. In the not defining, the building is the subject which is very old, needs repairing. What needs repairing the building? The boat's owner who we've just seen loves meeting people. In this other example is the object. In defining and non-defining, omit the object pronoun, her, him, it, etc. in a relative clause. Let's see the example. We know little about the woman that he married. Not. We know little about the woman that he married her. Okay, we omit the him in this case. This picture shows Bob's wife look who he married in 2019. This picture shows Bob's wife Lucy who he married in 2019. We omit her. Defining and not defining are usually have any prepositions at the end of the clause. It's the one which he has responsible for at work. For is the preposition that we have at the end of the relative, defining relative clause. So, who my mother worked with has become a teacher. Defining and not defining relative clauses in formal English sometimes have preposition at the beginning of the clause, followed by which for things or whom for people. It's the one for which he was responsible at work. So with whom my mother work has become a teacher. As you can see, here we have the prepositions in a different place than the previous examples. And sometimes we are going to find it in this position in the relative clauses. Define it and not define it. We cannot use that after a preposition in a relative clause. But as we saw in the previous examples, it doesn't matter if we use preposition. Sometimes we cannot use that after prepositions. We have to use which or whom only. Let's see the example. The room in which the meeting was held was too small. Remember that which is used for objects or things. The room in that, no, it is not possible. The meeting was held, was too small. Finally, remember that the defining relative clauses are more common use in writing and speaking. And the not defining writing are relative clauses are common in writing English. Thank you so much for your attention. This presentation. That's it. Okay. Do you have any comment, doubt, question? No? No questions? Okay. Nada más recordarles, la, la clase que vamos a tener el día viernes, este viernes que viene, es el 25. Por ahí se confundieron un poquito porque les hice este anuncio de, de 
la clase pasada, pero no, es este sábado que viene, no va a ser en sábado, sino va a ser en viernes, ¿sí? El viernes 25, dentro de los mismos horarios, para que se puedan conectar, ¿sí? Y usando los mismos enlaces, ya les comenté, si no pudieran conectarse, nada más me mandan un WhatsApp, eh, indicándome que, que no pueden hacer la conexión y no hay ningún problema para registrarle su asistencia. Un comentario más, ya está abierta la, el, la unidad 5 para que empiecen a subir este, su actividad y déjenme decirles que en las 5 y en las 6 se tiene que aplicar un poquito más porque salieron muy bajos en sus exámenes. Yo estoy sorprendido Sí, que ahorita ya al final de su curso lo estén tomando muy, muy a la ligera. Sí, entonces este, yo sé que a lo mejor el cambio ahorita de, de volvernos a integrar, bueno, de ustedes volverse a integrar a sus clases presenciales, pues también significa muchos cambios en, en su modus vivendi, en su forma de vida, pero hay que volverse a readaptar. Bajaron mucho, yo estoy un poquito sorprendido porque pues son personitas con otra capacidad, con una capacidad más alta, una capacidad que, que han demostrado, ¿sí? Y este, me gustaría ver en esta unidad 5 y 6 a esas personitas que yo conozco, ¿sí? Entonces, este, no tienen ninguna pregunta, ninguna duda, algún comentario. No, no teacher. Procedemos a, a este... A poner nuestro nombre en el chat, por favor, nombre completo y grupo. 